friends welcome once again i thought i put that first clip um of me introducing myself just for you to hear the wind <laughs> and how i didn't plan for this to happen but um i went for a walk as usual on my day off and i wanted to share this beautiful scenery with you guys you know seeing that these days I'm really really enjoying being outside and um, filming outside and you know being in in tune you know being connected to nature is doing me really really good I feel you know it makes me it adds some positive vibes to my life and um unfortunately the wind <laughs> took over so i couldn't really you know i just i went on and on and on and on and then later on when i listened to the video i was like oh my gosh you literally can't hear me all you be hearing is just the wind going boo 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 boo, boo, boo. so yeah i'm doing a voiceover in in this video today so once again welcome after doing all that you know long introduction welcome to this week um parenting diary and this week has been um a very um, challenging week in the sense of reflecting and just thinking thinking about our children thinking about once you become a parent you know the responsibility that you have for your kids and I saw it happen this week I went to a funeral I went to my my friend's grandma's funeral and you know as you know we Africans like your friend's mom is your mom your friend's grandma is also your grandma so yes i refer to this wise lady as grandma as well so i went to her funeral and it was such a like such a different scenery to the funerals that i have gone to this year it was very 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 different I don't know, maybe because they were non-African, maybe, you know, maybe, I don't know. But it was a very intimate funeral. It was small in number. And I just thought, wow, when I thought about the funerals that I went to this year, it it was large in number and, you know, the scream and the shout that, the African like to express themselves, you know, when their loved one dies, you know. We cry too at, at my my at my friend's grandma's funeral. We all, you know, couldn't hold back the tears. You know, the speech was very beautiful. The poem read was very beautiful, you know. So there's, yes, there's similar um, things that happen in this funeral and this, like same with the African funeral it just as it's just louder you know much much louder but it just made me think like wow what legacy do we leave our children you know when we leave I was just thinking this grandma was blessed enough to have to have lived her life long you know she's been blessed to have a long life and so she's seen her children grow she saw her grand grandchildren grow um and even her grandchild also have children so she's seen two generations if i'm not mistaken so yeah so it made me think as we are approaching two years anniversary since my um, sister Sabine passed away, it made me think about her funeral, you know. Literally this week is going to be the second year anniversary um, since she left us with the little princess because, 
If you didn't know, we lost my sister Sabine with a baby. She was pregnant and so when she passed away, we lost both her and child. And just that image of seeing her in her coffin with the baby is, you know, just carrying her baby. Ah, oh, it's just, um, it's very, very hard. So that's why it's been a really, really hard week for me. Um, to think also that this week is also her daughter's birthday. So she's turning seven. So she did her fifth birthday the day before she passed away. And so you can imagine she left very small children. So she died with one and she left three children at the time. It was age two, five and 11. And when when I said the grandma was lucky to have lived long enough, you know, she saw two generations after her. Sabine didn't get to see any of the her generation. Like her children have to grow up without having their mother physically, you know. I love to think, you know, that the universe will allow her to be watching over her children, you know, God, the universe, whatever people believe in, you know. I um love to think that that is what's happening but in terms of the physicalness you know in terms of the mother that knows their child like oh this one likes sleeping at this time this one doesn't like this food and the shakara that the kids do for their parents you know only their parents they're allowed to do that to they won't be able to do that with her you know um they have to grow with her their mom you know their biological mom and it's just just it's very sad made me very very sad I had sleepless night over it thinking about it you know I am able to still attend parents evening for my kids I'm able to still you know give them that warm cuddles and just the everyday thing that you're not gonna think twice about it you know she can't do that no more for her kids and it's just uh very hard very 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 hard which made me just my mind was just not at rest to think life you know or death or should we say death somebody told me you know a friend of mine told me that you know until you you know you have to start getting used to seeing more funerals the older you get and I just when that was said to me it was during Sabine's death when that was said to me I just thought that's not very sensitive you know seeing that I'm grieving but it was said to me and it never left me and as much as I didn't like hearing it I see that it's becoming true the older I'm getting the more funerals I'm attending. And I'm just thinking when I was younger, I never attended any funeral. And so I thought, as I was growing, I thought people just didn't die. But now that I'm getting older, I'm, you know, creating my own relationship, having my own relationships and friendships. (sighs) It's happening. I'm going to more and more funerals. And it's a hard reality to to accept that we will all leave this earth one day we will all leave this place in body physically we will leave it one day i don't know about in spirit you know um where we will go after after this earth i mean religious people like telling us that is heaven and and hell and some people believe hell is still here on this earth and heaven is still here on this earth. So it's just a lot to go into and that's another topic altogether which I don't want to go into right now. Right now I want to focus on the legacy. Legacy as a parent 
what we leave for our kids once we leave this earth, once we leave our physical body, what legacy or how would you like your children or your family or your loved ones to think of you? And a few things came to my mind while I was thinking about that. A few things I was like, okay, do I want to leave my children the material thing? So, which means a lot of people leave their children houses, cars, clothes, jewelries, you name it, you know, whatever you have, you're not going to take it with you when you leave this earth. So it will stay. And however it will be shared, it will be shared if you don't leave a will. So some kids will get a fair deal some will not get a, will not get a fair deal if you don't leave a will so leaving a will think about it it's important and also the other thing i was thinking about was the fact that is material thing the only thing that we should leave our children because some people who are living their best life, as they say, you know, because the thing with death is that it doesn't tell you, it doesn't give you an appointment, it doesn't tell you when it will come, it doesn't give you how it will come, because I'm sure if there was such thing, all the millionaires, all the politicians who have loads of money, who can buy you know, if death is something that you can buy, then we won't have rich celebrities and politicians and people who fought the rule the world forever. We they will not die, but they do. They pass. So as much as we don't like to talk about death, it's something that we can't get away from. Absolutely. Can't get away from it. So as a parent, I am forced to think about this. I am forced to talk about it with my children. And it's such a difficult conversation. When do you start talking to children about this, about death? Or do you even talk about death with your children? It's a very, very, very difficult subject that I am talking about this week. And I don't, I don't think I can do it all in one, in one session. I might have to come back um, with maybe a part two about legacy because it's just so wide. It's, it's a huge, huge, huge topic that has so many different um, angles that you can look at it. And I think personally for me, I think um, creating memories, creating memories for our loved ones is very, very important because when our physical body leaves, they can still think about us or relate to us with the memories that we have created with them. For, ex- for example, with my sister Sabine, Every time I hear a particular song by this um by a Congolese artist called Fali Pupa, there's a particular song that I hear it like when I listen to it automatically I think about Sabine. Automatically because we danced to this song, we f- we spoke and we, we we dreamed and we was like, Oh my gosh, Fali Pupa, Fali Pupa, Fali Pupa, you know. And this year's Fali Pupa came to England. He came to Manchester and I was just thinking about Sabine. I, 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 I said, oh my gosh, if Sabine was here, if she was still with us, she would have gone to see Fali Pupa live, no matter what. Like, even if she was not well, she would have, apart from me, she was in the hospital. But if she was like, oh, I'm feeling a bit cold. Oh, I've got a bit of a headache. She would have found a remedy to heal herself fast so she could go and see Fali Pupa live. So, see, we created that memory and 
that stayed with me and that will always stay with me. Like that there's a connection, you know, when I listen to my traditional, to our Batetela traditional songs, there's a connection. We we'll always dance around, you know, um, to our traditional songs. Uh, there's a connection there. There's certain subject that we will talk about that I'll be like, hmm, Sabine was here. This is what we were talking about. Or I'll pretty much have an idea of what her opinion will be on that particular subject. So what I'm trying to say is, for me, memories and values and morals are very important as part of the legacy. So it's not just a material thing. It's also teaching our, our kids how to be independent, teaching our, our kids about values and teaching our children about some morals so that you kind of prepare them and teaching them self-respect and work ethic or how to how to have a how to start a business and teaching them how to save money how to keep money how to invest money they are all part of 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 the bigger picture for when i think about legacy when i think about legacy i think about all those things and I, as you can see towards the end of this video, <laughs> the sun came out to visit me and I just felt like the universe was agreeing with me in this topic today. So I felt very, very, very excited that the universe was in tune with me and suddenly I you can see towards the end of the video, I'm um, like teeth out, smiling. Although I was talking about, a, you know, a sad subject, but the sun just like to come and give me a little kiss. And yes, it says, well done, Auntie Lou. I'm here. I'm hearing you. Thank you. You know. Thank you for talking about this and thank you. I would like to also say thank you to everyone, everybody who's been following the Parenting Diary. Thank you very much. I will come back. If you have any comment, please do leave a leave um, a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, if you're new to the channel. Thank you, thank you. I would like to say bye everyone. Bye bye.